In this video, we're going to break down why 99% of people cannot actually make significant progress in anything that they do. And this happens across the board for beginners who are just starting something new, whether it's business or side hustle or getting into sales or people who are actually really successful. And this happens both ways. And it's a vicious cycle that I've experienced many times myself. And if you can avoid it, you can really steamroll past so many different people in your space who are just getting caught up in this loop. So we're gonna break that down in today's video. But before we do that, we're gonna jump into the power of intention because the power of intention is really the triggering factor that kind of creates this whole loop in the first place because we need to understand this for this loop to actually make sense. So we're gonna first break down intention, then we're gonna break down this vicious loop and we're gonna tie it back to intention so you can really become aware of this, avoid it, and start to really create the life that you want. On this channel, I just talk about things that have worked for me, talk about the things that have worked for clients, and I don't claim to have it all figured out. I'm a student of life, I will always continue learning, but I wanna share what's worked for me in the hopes that it works for you too. So let's jump into it. The video was inspired by two conversations that I had recently. One with a guy who was running an agency and another guy who was in remote sales. And they both had similar problems, right? The guy who was running the agency said, I think my market is saturated. I think I might change. I might go off and start something new. And the guy who was in remote sales, he was like, mm, I don't know if sales is for me. I don't really know if I can actually do this. And I might go try and do something else. Now, this is an extremely common problem, especially in those beginning phases when you're trying to really figure things out and try and find what's the best thing for you to do. So when we talk about the power of intention, what do we really mean? Well, what we mean is we are directing our mental energy, our mental focus towards a specific outcome. And we have made a definite decision that we are going to pursue this thing and achieve it. Now, it's very, very different to seeing if something's going to work out. That's a, that's a watery, weak intention. I wouldn't even call it an intention because it's like, mm, I'm going to see how this is going to go. I'm going to see if this works out. But in reality, if you do not have the definite intention that something is going to work out, then it's not going to work out because there's always going to be an excuse there to try and find something else that's going to maybe work, maybe it's easier. And this is where this loop really comes into play. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as we go through this intention phase. But if there's one thing I want you to understand is that an intention is very, very different to seeing if things are going to work out. Okay, so let's look at the timeline for an intention. So let's say you're here and you set an intention. You want to travel the world. You want to make 10K a month, 20K, whatever the number is for you. You want to have financial freedom, time, location, freedom, all that good stuff. And you've set the intention that you want to make this happen. Okay. A definite intention, a definite purpose that you are going to get there. Okay. So let's look at this as the end point, the goal. Okay. And let's say you're here and you have this new identity. Because if you've watched some of my other videos, you hear me talk about identity. Identity is the new version of you that we're stepping into because to get something, to achieve that outcome that we want, that intention that we've set, we must first be something. So that's the new identity. If you want us to check out some of my other videos around that, I'll link them around here. So we get to this point here with this new identity. But you'll notice that there's this big gap in between. Okay? So this is the gap. And this is the journey that we must travel in order to achieve what we want to achieve. And this is very important because this is the same with anything that we set in life, whether that's a dream relationship that we want, whether that's a goal that we want to achieve in business, whether that's, you know, a fitness goal, whatever the case is for you, there's always going to be a gap in between where you are and where you want to get to. So the next thing I really want you to understand is that when you set this intention, the world is going to unfold before you. The journey ahead is going to be very, very clear as you take the next steps. Now, you're not always going to see 10 steps ahead. You might only see one step ahead. And you might not always have a clear picture of what that looks like. But one of the biggest lessons that I learned is when you do set that intention, everything is unfolding before you. And when you understand this, it becomes kind of like a game. And you can see it from a higher level perspective rather than just, I'm, I'm, set, I'm making this decision and all of a sudden I have to do these tasks and I have to get these things done and i got to figure these things out. And it, it can be all very, very overwhelming when you're doing that. And there's all these skills you need to learn. There's all these things you need to do. And there's all these different life pillars that you need to master. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll hear me talk about life pillars. There's these seven different areas of our life. So mind, body, spirit, relationship, network, money, purpose, and business, which is purpose and business are together. And all of these things start to you know, align with each other, but you have to figure them out as you go. And that can be scary and overwhelming. So I completely get that. And the problem with a lot of people is that when we set this intention, we think that it's going to be different to the way that it actually is, but the path that unfolds before us is our unique path. 
that path that unfolds before us is the path that we are meant to travel. And we must trust that this intention that we've set is guiding us in the right direction. So you'll notice here along this path, you'll have these obstacles, right? And you'll see those obstacles. And these will be people that you meet, challenges that you face, lessons that you need to learn, things that you need to accept about yourself that you may have shoved under the rug for a long period of time. You'll understand things like self-mastery and self-development and mindset and you know increasing your energetic state and all of these different things and you start to learn skills like sales and you start to learn skills like you know outreach and marketing and content and all of those different things and these are the lessons that you need to learn along the way really the high level understanding that i want you to develop when it comes to this process itself is that all of these things are actually happening for you specifically they're not these challenges that are just there for no reason because when we face a challenge, it means that we must become somebody different to overcome that challenge. And for you to become someone different, is you becoming the person you need to be to be able to make this happen in the first place. These things are there to help you level up. And if you're starting to feel doubtful, or you're starting to feel fearful of the, the journey ahead, that these are all signals that you need to move into action, that you need to level up, that you need to master something. And it's up to you to figure out what that something is because some of these challenges that we face can be a little bit confusing from time to time. We think that maybe we have a problem with our strategy or the thing that we're doing that's you know it's going to get us the result. But a lot of the time it can be a personal problem that's just reflecting into our business. And that's the problem that we need to solve. And it's up to us to bring ourselves to an awareness and a level of consciousness where we can really start to look at our life, look at our purpose, look at our business and really see that we can overcome these things by understanding what it is that I need to master. What is the quest that I need to go on? What is the mission that I need to accomplish in this game of life to be able to make this intention that I've set become a reality? If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like and subscribe because it lets us know to make more content like this for you. Let's jump back to the video. So with that kind of high level understanding of intention, I want to share a personal story with you because this was something that happened to me very, very early on when I started to understand the power of intention. When I was living at home in my parents' house and I was just getting started, I was about eight months into my journey of starting a marketing agency and I made my first thousand dollars online, but I never made anything after that. And I was really, really struggling. But I had this big idea in my mind that I wanted to sit on the beach and I wanted to have an Airbnb close by where I would be working on my laptop and I was living in a sunny country. I'm from Ireland originally where the, you know, the weather's not that great. It's rainy all the time bit depressing in my opinion. So I wanted to get near the sun. I wanted to be out. I wanted to be living that digital nomad life that I was seeing online from all of these people, right? That was my intention. And I didn't really care too much about the money that I was going to make because uh, that was my, that was kind of my long-term play. I really had an understanding of, you know, the, this 10K a month goal that I had at the time was something that I'm going to achieve at some point. It was more about the travel for me in the beginning because I just wanted to get out of my current environment. I just wanted to move out. I just wanted to, you know, start living the life because Previous to that, I had, you know, lived uh, outside of my parents' house for six years as I was working in the college and things like that. But I moved back to, you know, really start my business and to have a little bit of leverage and a bit of a little bit of leeway in terms of finances so that I could get this off the ground. But I hated it, so I wanted to move out. And as I was learning more about meditation, as, as I was learning more about intention, I would sit there and I would hold the vision in my mind of being able to sit on the beach and be able to have a walk or be able to just be out in the sun and it was really, really simple. It wasn't I was I wasn't imagining villas or I wasn't imagining, you know, anything really special. It was more just like I wanted to be in the sun. And what I would do is I would imagine it. And I kind of forgot about it after a while. I stopped doing it. I kind of remembered it every now and again and I still kind of wanted it, but I was just really focused on building the skills. And I was, and I was kind of doubtful and fearful at the time of was I even able to accomplish this? And over time I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And because I was forgetting about it, I was actually unconsciously detaching from it which is another key thing to remember when it comes to intention is that we have to be a we have to have a level of detachment to be able to actually make this come to come to life but when i was hyper focused on it, it didn't really happen because i was really i was way too focused on it i wanted it too much but when i detached from it and kind of forgot about it and i was like mm, you know who knows it'll happen at some point i just need to build the skills i just need to focus on doing the inputs and that's really what i was i was focused on and then all of a sudden, after about two or three weeks of kind of forgetting about it a little bit, I was in this agency program where there was a Telegram group group chat. And at the time, I was really going heavy into shifting my identity. So I, I wasn't checking my phone in the morning. I was waking up at 5 a.m. I was meditating every day. I was running every day. So I was checking my phone in the morning after my meditation was something I didn't usually do. But for some reason, I kind of felt called to just check my phone. And just like, I felt like an urge to do it, but not in a way where I'm going to go and check social media. It was more just like, just check your chat. And it was kind of this intuitive feeling. And it just so happens, the second I was looking at that chat, the owner of the program put a message in saying he was looking for someone to come over to Spain 
and to help them with content. Immediately, I was like, this is my opportunity. Now, I didn't have any clients at the time. I didn't have any really money saved up. I had some money and I used that money to go ahead and to buy flights so I could spend, I think it was three weeks in total over in Spain helping this guy with content. And I messaged him immediately. I was like, hey man, you know, I, I'm, I'm good with content. I've done this, this, and this. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I just didn't want him to know that. But I had kind of used a camera before. I wouldn't say I was confident at it. And I created some videos on TikTok that were not good at all. But I was just saying to this guy, I can go ahead and I can help you do this because I wanted to start to step into this new reality that I had in my mind. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, it's just a coincidence. It just happened by chance. I don't believe in that. I believe that everything happens for a specific reason. And if I did not have the intention to travel the world to make 10K a month, this would not have led me to that point. And the reason I share this with you is because that intention led me to one of these events, which was one of these things where I got the opportunity. And it was up to me to actually step into that opportunity. And sometimes when you're, step when you're stepping into the opportunity, there's going to be a lot of doubt, there's going to be a lot of fear because it's unfamiliar, it's uncertainty. Because I didn't fully know this guy, I was going over to basically live with him for three weeks and record content with him. All I knew was that he was living the life that I wanted to live, online business, traveling the world and doing some cool stuff. And long story short, we ended up becoming great friends. We're still great friends now. We check in with each other every single week. The big takeaway with this personal story is that that would not have happened without the power of intention. That direction of focus, that mental energy took me to this opportunity. And it was up to me then to take the leap, to take the chance, which I think is where a lot of people get stuck. Even if you feel uncertainty, even if you feel fear or doubt, just moving with courage when it comes to these things allows you to take advantage of the opportunities. Now, of course, this is all revolved around moving out of those low level emotions, which is you know kind of in a survival paradigm and moving up into a state of acceptance and responsibility and integrity. And we've talked about that in other videos, but I wanted to share that with you because intention is extremely powerful. And I want you to see that all of these things that are going to happen throughout your journey are going to be taking you in the direction that you need to go. To build on that story even more, when I was over there and I was shooting content and I was uh, uh, getting to know this guy, I actually signed my first ever agency client at the time as well. And this just goes to show when you set an intention, you move with courage and you have your mental focus directed towards a certain thing and you're doing the things that you need to do and you start to trust the process, things start to happen for you. But you also have to understand that there's going to be hardships and there's going to be drops. It's not going to be all uphill from there. And the thing is with this, right? When I signed a client here, this was like a win. So this is like a big win. And I was, when I came back to the place, I was, I was like, shit, now I'm back in Ireland and I don't want to be here. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. So I created this sense of urgency to be able to change my situation, right? And get out into the world. But the thing was, this client that I had signed originally paid, you know, 250 euros at the time. I was charging super low ticket. I didn't know what to charge. And this guy was a client for three months, but every single week he would delay payments and he would make up these excuses and he would say that he's losing his house and he said his wife was leaving and it was all these crazy things happening every single week. And I was kind of too naive to really understand what was going on. He was just blatantly lying to me and he ended up not paying the full amount. So this was one of those lessons that came along, you know, which is like a big L. It was a big lesson for me. And after that, I was like, holy shit. I was like, this is actually stuff that can happen. It's not all just like up and up and up. But you'll see here that this is like the ups and downs. This is the ups and downs that you have to be able to navigate and just keep going throughout that process. Because that led me to reflect and was like, okay, well, I need to learn to be more assertive. I need to learn to be able to vet people. I need to question, like, am I attracting these type of people into my life? How can I level up? How can I become better so that I can start attracting better clients into my life? And a couple of months passed where I was really in the down low and I didn't understand, like, how I was going to change these things. But as I started to accept these things, I started to move out and build these tools around, you know, mental models, how to think about these different scenarios and move out of fear and move out, move out of scarcity and accept the journey that was actually unfolding before me. That's when I started to get more opportunities and these highs and lows started to become clearer, but I was able to stick the course. Now, the reason I mentioned all of this is simply because intention is going to always direct your focus. And we'll talk about this in more detail in other videos, but let's break down the loop and how this all ties into intention as well so that you can avoid this loop and really stick the course and stay on the path so you can create the reality that you want, create the life that you want. So this is the vicious loop. And this was first introduced to me by a mentor who has you know, three seven-figure businesses. They were all online. Some of them were based around online marketing and e-com and things like that. I didn't really understand this and I ended up getting stuck in it far more than it actually benefited me. So it was only when I started to reflect on the things that I've learned. And this, you know, this diagram specifically is where I really understood where I was stuck for a long time. So 
I've seen this, I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs talk about this since then. Uh, it's not an uncommon thing. I think Alex Sarbosi talks about it as well. So let's break it down. So we have the first section here, which is uninformed optimism. Now, this is where you see a new opportunity and you're like, holy shit, this is the thing. This is what I need to do. You see, you see people on YouTube talking about the best business model to start in 2024 or the only thing that you need to do to make 10K a month or whatever the videos are. This is where you see the new opportunity. This is super, super common. It's this new shiny thing and you know it gets very, very distracting. Now, of course, when you go ahead and you set the intention to go after this new thing, you've now you know set the bar, right? You have the line. Come back to the last part of the video. You have the line. This is where you want to get to. This is where you are. And this is the intention that you have set. And this is where you're about here in the very, very beginning. So you have uninformed optimism. You're optimistic about the future. You're optimistic about the opportunity. And you're like, this is going to be amazing. I can't wait to get into this, right? That's where you find yourself. Now, as time passes, so time down here, as time passes along here, you slowly start to move down here. And as you get to this point here, this is informed pessimism, okay? This is where you're like, okay, I've been doing this for a couple of months or maybe even a couple of weeks. And you're like, this is kind of hard. This is a lot harder than this guy promised me it to be. This is a, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. You know, I thought it was going to be much easier than this. And you kind of get a little bit pessimistic about the future. Now, when this happens, this is where a lot of people are like, oh God, I don't know. Maybe I should try something new. Maybe I should, you know, maybe I should go try a new business or maybe I should try e-commerce and maybe I should try marketing or maybe I should do affiliate marketing and maybe I should become a YouTuber. And all of these things start to come into your mind because you start to justify the fact that this is hard and you don't want to do hard. That's kind of where you find yourself. And as you move down here, this is where you find yourself in the valley of despair. The valley of despair is where everybody quits. Everybody quits because they're at a point where it's too hard. They're not seeing any results and they're like, holy shit, I want to get out of this position. This is obviously not the right opportunity for me. So where your mind is going to start justifying things like the market is saturated or this opportunity is just not for me. There's something better out there. But the reality is this is where 99% of people quit. 99% of people stay in this loop. And this is really where the loop comes in because the loop here is just going back and forth from here to the value of despair up to optimism. So you're just kind of repeating this loop. And you keep jumping from opportunity to opportunity to opportunity with this uninformed optimism that this is going to be the better thing or this is going to be the thing that's going to change my life. When in reality, everything that you start is going to follow this, this pattern here. When you start this new opportunity or you, maybe you change, you're going to get to the value of despair regardless of what it is that you're starting again. But if you push through that, you start to get to this point here, which is informed optimism, which is where you start to realize that this is hard. And I understand it's going to be hard. I don't expect it to be easy. And I'm supposed to get better to actually make this easier for myself. It's not that this is going to get easier, but I'm just going to get better over time. And of course, this is not in a couple of months. This is probably a couple of years. And a lot of people quit because they don't get to this point. Because really, what this is, is just a phase of acceptance. You're just accepting that this path is going to be long and I'm going to suck at this for a long time. But I'm here to do it for the long term. This is what I'm here to do. And I'm clear on my intention. I'm going to stick the course, okay? This is where you're sticking the course, actualizing this win over here that you're looking for, okay? Because if you're looking for financial freedom, location freedom, all these different things, I mean, every business model or every opportunity that you take on is going to be able to get you there. There's, you know, millions of people out there who've had success with a variety of different things. So it's really about finding out what that thing is for you, okay? And we'll get into a little bit more of that later on. But that last phase is where you're actually going to achieve success. It's where you're actually going to get the success and achievement that you want is by pushing through this value here. Let me give you a personal example, right? When I was starting off in my marketing agency, I was doing services for everyone. I was creating content for gyms. I was creating content for coaches. I was running ads for entrepreneurs who had info products. I was you know, doing email marketing for an NFT company. And really what I was doing is jumping around from different opportunities, thinking that there was something that was gonna get me to where I wanna be. And this can happen within an industry as well, because you could be in here, for example, you could be running a marketing agency or if you're running a coaching business and you could keep swapping niches or niches wherever you're from in the world and you keep swapping these different things thinking that there's going to be a better opportunity somewhere else so this doesn't happen just with business models or it doesn't happen with just opportunities it also happens within that opportunity itself so for example the guy who was running the agency where it's like i think my market's saturated i don't think i'm going to go for this i'm going to go start somewhere else that's the exact same process you're going to come down here probably he's probably approaching the valley of despair he's probably thinking damn this is 
pretty hard. This is harder than I thought it would be. Uh, I think everything's saturated. Everybody's out there running ads and I can't compete with these people and it just gets hard. And when you think about things that way, approaching this point, which means you're going to jump back up here and you're like, I'm going to go after e-com brands. And this is exactly what I did. I went from working with coaches to working with local businesses to working with e-commerce brands back to local businesses and then ended up back to coaches where I was starting in the beginning. And if I just stuck with that, I would have had success a lot faster. Now let's tie this back to intention, okay? Because we're setting our intention here, get to this goal that we want to get to. But we start jumping from here to here and all the things that are unfolding before us, we're not allowing those things to actually happen, right? We are ignoring, we're, we're, basically, we're basically saying that this is the intention that I want. So we're basically saying, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna ignore this. I'm going to ignore this attention that I've set where I want to get to here. And I'm going to go on this way. And somewhere along the way, you go back to uninformed optimism. And then somewhere along the way, you change again and you start to go this way. And then somewhere along the way, you change again and you start to go this way. And then maybe, maybe, and then maybe you settle there and you kind of start to go back up. And then maybe you change again and you go this way. And then maybe you change again and go this way. And then all of a sudden, you end up back here and then eventually you get to your goal. And this happens when we keep thinking that there's a better opportunity to hop on when really, in reality, People who have the most success, the fastest, are the people who can focus on one thing for a long period of time and really, really become a master at that. This is exactly why I've committed to doing exactly what I'm doing right now for the next 10, 15, 20 years. I have a big plan for all of this stuff because it's what I love to do and, love, and the things that I love to talk about. So I can't wait for the next couple of years to unfold because I know that the majority of people who start the things that I'm doing are not going to be able to stick the course. They're not going to be able to get out of the valley of despair, but I will, and I will push through that. And that's why I will steamroll past them. And it's exactly the way I would like you to think about it as well, because if you are setting an intention to achieve something, and you've made a commitment to do it a certain way, then stick the course. And don't find yourself jumping from things like crypto to different business models to this and that, because you're just delaying the creation process. You're not allowing the actualization process to just happen the way it is meant to happen. You're causing all of these different changes by shifting your intention and focus to different things, which is just taking you completely off track and delaying the process overall. My personal theory behind all of this, because I've experienced this myself, is that this is why it takes a couple of years for people to really see any progress, why it takes some people a short space of time. Because we live in such a distracted world these days, it's so easy to look at YouTube and see all of these new opportunities because things get hard and we get stuck in our emotions, we get stuck in fear, we get stuck in doubt. And when we're stuck in these low level emotions and we haven't been able to transcend or rise up, it starts to affect how we see the world. We start to get stuck in fear and doubt in ourselves, in the process, in the world, in the opportunity that we're in. We're nervous about it. And that causes us to make rash decisions by jumping back up here. We need to be able to build the mental models to be able to stick the course and overcome any challenge that faces us on the way. And the intention that we've set is all that we really need to do. Because anything that comes after that is a lesson that we must learn. It's a challenge that we must overcome. It's a person that we need to become to be able to overcome these things. And all of that is building us into the character that is going to be able to overcome all of these challenges to be able to inevitably get us to the outcome that we want. So to really tie this video together, I want you to ask yourself this question. Where are you on this graph? Where do you find yourself with the current thing that you're pursuing? And it's just good to note that it's dropping in the comments below. I would love to see where you're at. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them there as well. I would love to hear them. And if you're facing some resistance in the current thing that you're doing, there's a couple of different ways that you can handle this because I know for me personally, when I was running this kind of lifestyle marketing agency where I was traveling and things like that, my intention from the very beginning was I want to stack skills. I want to get better at marketing. I want to work with a variety of clients. I want to get sales experience. I want to be able to actually have something of value so that I can share that with other people. Otherwise, I would just be some guy on the internet with an opinion. So I could come back, start making these videos and share my personal experiences and mental models that I was able to build in the pursuit of my true purpose, which I discovered throughout that process. But all of this being said, it's important for you to ask yourself, am I doing the thing that I'm doing right now to stack skills? Is this something I actually want to do long term? Because regardless of what it is you try to pursue, it's going to be difficult and you're going to have to move through the valley of despair. So it's really important to understand is like, is this something that I want to keep pursuing regardless of how hard it is? Do I really care about what I'm doing, right? Not that you have to be passionate about it because I don't think that's the best way to put it, but do you feel like it's in alignment with you because you may be running a business that's just not something that you want to do long-term. So being able to push through these different phases, it's going to be much more difficult compared to doing something 
that you feel in alignment with. And just to be very clear, being in alignment doesn't mean it's going to be easier. It means it's still going to be challenging. But to you, it feels more meaningful to actually pursue this thing. For me, for example, there's nobody holding a gun to my head to make these YouTube videos. I enjoy being here. I enjoy sharing this with you. I can't wait to make another video to put it on YouTube. All of the things that I do is completely in alignment with the big long-term vision that I have for myself, for my life, and how I want to actually show up in the world. The more I feel like the work actually gets easier because I'm playing such a long-term game, I know that the daily actions and the things that I'm doing is moving me closer to that. So that being said, that's just something to think about. Maybe the thing that you're doing is not the right thing for you, but you're doing it to stack skills. That's completely fine. Keep pursuing that process, but just understand that just when things get difficult, that's not the time to question yourself. That's the time to keep pushing through, build a character, prove to yourself that you can do this and you can follow through on the things you said. Otherwise, you'll be stacking beliefs in yourself that you are somebody who doesn't follow through on what they said. So if you've set a goal for yourself, whether that's 5K a month, 10K a month, 20K a month, whatever that case is, follow through on that goal, accomplish it, and then reevaluate and see, is this really something I want to keep doing? Is this really something that is in alignment with me or is there something else I need to explore here? And if not, and this is something you just keep on growing and scaling, amazing, you're already at an advantage. So just think about those couple of things. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, drop your comments below. I really want to hear what you think of all of this. And if you're looking to go deeper on some of these ideas when it comes to identity shifting, I actually have a full video that breaks down this process A to Z by understanding reality and understanding how you can transform the one that you're living in right now. So you want to check out this video here if you want to learn more about that. I'll see you there.